Other McDonald's All-American on this team, New Jersey Gatorade Player of the Year. She was on the US U19 team that won gold at the FIBA World Championships, and she's got a steal on another bucket right here. They averaged just 18 turnovers per game last season. Already at 15 now as Miller goes baseline. A nice little pull up. Now a lob pass over to Dickey inside against Austin. Back Nowhere out. to go for Delaware. Stolen, Diamond Miller. Up off the glass, gets the roll. Bujicic is into the game for Maryland, her first touch. Now Austin fizzes it over. Diamond Miller has a three and cashes in. Cylinders. Yeah, that last sequence a little. Shakira Austin. Owusu controls once again to her fellow freshman Diamond Miller and the freshman connection works. Jumping around on the rim today at practice. Johnson the steal. Takes it at Miller with the block. Got back in transition to make the defensive play. But that's not an option. This year for Maryland, doesn't matter when they can get a transition and a pinpoint pass like that. And that is the thing that is going to get Maryland back into this game. Eight to shoot. Maryland taking its time. Miller, lefty finish. Double effort on her part. Only one field goal now in the last 12 possessions for Michigan. And there's one of the freshmen, Diamond Miller. How to help her team win. Look at a little stop right there. Hesitation, a little ball fake. High off the glass. Very, very busy. Not helmet, just left a little bit short. Got to give a little shout out to Mark, Brenda's husband, and to Larry, Kim's husband, because those are two great guys. Giving the Huskers some minutes off the bench here in conference play. Miller corner three rattles it down. And another freshman. Oh, the McDonald's All-American Diamond Miller sets herself nicely, gets her feet set. The little pro hop into the three-point shot in the corner. Nicely executed. Charles. Owusu will kick it back. Miller left open. Got another. And shining bright like a diamond is Diamond Miller from well beyond the arc. Maryland gives up less than 59 points. They're undefeated. When they give up more than 60, it's they're 4-4, four and four, so it's kind of a 50-50 game. Illinois needs to break 60 if they want a victory in this. Have to be ready, but the passer has to wait until the post player is ready, so it's two sides. Miller for three. And they're filling it up. You want things to happen at the end of games, and they've had a lot of close ones. You want the ball in her hands, and you want her defending the ball. Miller with the pick. And trying to go the distance, step through, move. When the team needs some offense, they're right there for it. And you look really smart with our marquee matchup. There's Charles leading the break. Miller, they're going to count it. Tracked back down by Jones. That's Miller off the glass and in. That's some pretty good math for a poly side major. I'll take it. Swing pass for Mike Sell. Jab, three ball. You can book it for the best shooter on this team, the best shooter on this floor, let's be honest, in Mike Sell. Diamond Miller trying to step through and move those long legs and arms, getting that one to go. No one was setting screens. They didn't cut hard, and that was one of the reasons they weren't able to get an open look. It was Austin with her first shot attempt, and she gets it to go. She kind of rushed herself to get her feet set on that one. Miller, boom, another triple for the Terps. Of the season, finding her shot again, she had dropped down to about 27% over a collection of about five or six games. There's the answer from true freshman Diamond Miller out of Somerset, New Jersey. That one sailed right over the rim. Tied at nine, Charles on the push. Miller will attempt to play high, arcing shot. A moon ball for Diamond Miller. Kevin McGuff says has really hurt his team over the years. Gets it ultimately into Stephanie Jones with a nice turn. Ohio State back on top. 
And again, Sabrina is the only collegiate player, male or female, with 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 1,000 assists. Miller shows her versatility. Who is now your everyday starter. Only started three times last year here for the Terps. And here's a takeaway by Owusu. They feed Diamond Miller again, and she's got a quick four points. Sometimes with male practice players, and that's not necessarily always available in terms of the numbers that are available to them this year because of COVID. Here's Miller, who has now six points for the Turks. Here comes Marilyn the other way. Three-point shot off the rim. No. Good look by Katie Benzin, but could not connect. Now the steal by Diamond Miller puts it up and in, and the foul. We've seen that already. Arella. You know, they're not even trying to press, but Garantes is surrounded by Miller. Rutgers up by three, 42-39. Diamond Miller ties the game. And the first half comes to an end. What a spectacular first half. Move, and then Diamond Miller, the top scorer, saucing him up. A three to tie the game, Lou. And just kind of took herself out of the play, giving Tinsley the big bucket. Now here is Miller, the defender falls down, Miller gets her first basket of the day. I think they just overturn that into a ball tipped out of bounds. So now here is Miller on the other side, goes with the left hand, finishes strong, and Diamond Miller really able to get to the basket. Oh yeah, that's the best thing, when you're a post and you can run with those guards, that, that puts pressure on those guards to pick up their pace, right? But she's a phenomenal athlete with a high basketball IQ on the floor. They've hit their last five shots. Now can they do it on this end? Collins. Cut. The cut to the bucket for Collins. Count it. Defender turned her head and was ball watching. Watch this. Diamond Miller's defender turns her head, and she goes right to the back. You know, she said she knew that she was at a different level in terms of her knowledge of the game and play-making ability at the point guard spot. Horse back out. Shot goes up, and no good that one coming from Tamara Farquhar. Alusu to Miller, looking to go inside, off the window and in. A lot of turnover in the team as well. Diamond Miller with 10 to shoot, puts up a three. Off the front, it bounces home. I guess the bank's open on Sunday. And we've seen, actually, ooh, Miller with the block from behind. Leather off the ball on that block. Diamond Miller playing some staunch defense early on here. Just what Brenda Freeze wants to see, a balanced effort. And there is Awusu who knocks it down. Cleared around, Benson pulls up. Maybe the weak side board. Stretch pass, Miller one-on-one -on -one with Estella Mosco. The step through, unbelievable from Miller. So athletic, an athletic first step. The length she brings to the floor. I mean, come on, try to guard that, split the defense to give her teammate a wide open lane to the basket. Awusu with the step back. Off the front iron, loose rebound picked up by Chloe Bibby. Miller, big shot from the wing. In that second quarter, you and uh, Coach Landers were referencing the defensive adjustments and they were good ones for the Terrapins trying to stay undefeated in the league. They uh, open up. Someone Susie Merchant needs to step up tonight scoring wise. There have been a couple of players on Susie Merchant's team this year that have made big jumps. But speaking of players who have improved freshman to sophomore year, how about Diamond Miller? I mean, watch here. Miller, number one in yellow with the ball coming off the screen, reading that a Rolt went behind the screen. Maryland gets those rebounds, and they're just off to the races right away. Mimi Collins all alone underneath. Here's what Diamond Miller does so well. Yeah, she's taking on defenders, just throws it casually behind the back at 6-3 and finds... Miller switching to the left hand all the way into the rack, and Diamond Miller thought she should get an and one, but she gets two there, her first two. That high release point, but it's hard to guard, hard to close out on, then Diamond Miller able to get to the basket. Good look for Hybe, could not connect. Bibby will start it up the floor to Miller. Diamond Miller in transition on the run, down the left side of the lane for two more. So she's strong enough to be in the post to make those decisions, and she's also good enough to handle the ball and steal as well. After the steal, the pass up to Miller, it caroms back to Owusu. Then the next possession, Diamond Miller gets a tip, Owusu gets her teammate back, and then how about just a little back and forth action between... Now Kayla Mershon sprung wide open for the easy lay in the transfer from Nebraska, if that name is familiar to you. 
Benson in the left corner. Diamond Miller drills a three, and Miller's got seven in the early going. She has got incredible range as a shooter. The tip goes to Maryland. Talk about range, and Diamond Miller sizing it up for three. Miller again. She's got the first three. She's got all six points here so far. Purdue coming with some full court pressure to try to slow this Terrapin team down. Owusu pulls up for a long jumper that's no good. Inside Nini Collins with the rebound. Back off to Miller. Miller's going to fire a three pointer, and that one's good. Back the other way. Here's Owusu with a runner that's no good. Farquhar rebounds to Trailer. Purdue coming two on two. Trailer has more on her right. Trailer goes up to the basket and has the shot blocked out of bounds by Diamond Miller. Runner off the mark by Sidney Wood. Maryland controls. Diamond Miller, Euro step. Left no handed way. finish high off the glass. Oh my goodness. I mean, this, this is maybe FC top 10 worthy here. That's between three defenders. What concentration. She starts the ball. Well, in this season, every day feels like a Saturday to me, but we're happy to bring you some <laughs> matinee basketball as Miller rings it up from deep here for Maryland. Driving baseline, reverses up and in. Nice effort to keep it alive by Kendall Coley, who was impressive yesterday for the Cornhuskers. And a great swat away by Diamond Miller, who tries to wrestle the ball away from Monica Stewart. Always trying to get loose bugs, create second chance opportunities. 6 3, look at that length. She's so far away from Monica Stewart, yes, just has that athletic ability to still get a hand on the ball. In the armor, if you will, when it comes to Maryland's defense, but they have gotten the stops necessary to take this big lead. Here's Miller for three. We know Benzin is a threat, but if they have multiple three-point threats on the floor, it's going to be really tough for Iowa to guard. And then Diamond Miller showing some of that athleticism by Iowa, forcing the turnover. And Bibby takes it right back. Bibby has 11 points, all of them in the first quarter. Unselfish, Owusu finds Chloe Bibby. So it was that another turnover and a good bounce pass inside. Collins cut it to the basket. The foul on the layup and the first assist of the year for Diamond Miller. She's loving it. Four going into the break. Look at this pass. Miller, nowhere to go. Nice bounce pass to the backdoor cut of Collins off the window and in. Well, Diamond Miller has only seen action in one game, but she's back. The rebound off the miss, but they too have seen their share of ranked opponents. In fact, common ground with Stanford and NC State as the Terrapins score on the break. Rarely have we said over the past couple of seasons that Maryland is coming off a Big Ten loss, but they are to Indiana, and they have bounced back well tonight. Miller's a key part of that. Finishes in transition there to extend this lead even more. Benson has it top of the key in a tie game. It's a Diamond Miller in the left corner. She's guarded by Sissoko. She'll fire a three off one dribble and bury it. Diamond Miller. Diamond Miller has it right wing in front of the gopher bench. Was wearing 30 for a while, then switched to number one. She's with one today. Her second three is on the way, and her wow. second three is good. Coach Barnes Arico was taking care of the basketball. Miller will fire and hit from three. Deep. Great answer from Chloe Bibby. Here she is one more time. Miller, Miller rather. Diamond Miller. Third three of the day. Desperate for a bucket though as Rutgers has come back just a little bit on the offensive side of the ball. Sellers to Miller for the long range. Three ball and hits. Trying to force one into Sable, a turnover once again by the Terrapins. Miller. Another good pass. Guarded by Hagens, who gives off. Here's Miller, three seconds, straightaway three, knocks it home, right at the buzzer. Basketball for the Terrapins. I'm kind of surprised that here on the replay that Marisa 
How does back score seal? Anytime Michigan State can get on a run and score easy buckets, they have to take advantage. Right back to the way. Speaking of easy buckets, there's one for Diamond Miller. Did a nice job defensively as well. Maryland coming off an 82-71 win over Penn State as the three rattles down. Flow's been pretty good here as Benson leading the offense. That's worked so far. They're going to continue doing that as Miller gets inside. Underhand layup off the glass and a foul. Right to the rack. Get the easy and one going to the line. Foul goes against Sonica Stewart and Miller goes to the line here. Yeah, cancer has affected everybody. And it's a good thing to see it, the awareness out here for both teams. Angel Reese with a quick two and Angel Reese has been really good. Inside for Chardon, posting up. Stopped her dribble, so she has to get it to Miller. And Miller is able to get it to go. And so we take one more look at the play that got her to the charity stripe. Is able to draw the contact from Nelson. Maryland loading up a big schedule, but didn't have a lot of players available, and Miller just blocked Clark. Reese working against Sonano, using her left hand in a little bit of trouble. But Angel Reese back to Miller, got it off in time and hit it! At the half. Well, you take a chance right there, digging on the post and Diamond Miller. Well, they run a runner off that three point line for sure, but you cannot wait until Taylor Mike Sell catches it to do something defensively about it. Diamond Miller, the opportunity for one. Really starting to get to back to last year's form. A little hesitation move right there, and then the reach in. I'd like to see Michigan, see Michigan rather, have a little more recognition when Holman gets switched onto by a smaller guard as you see Diamond Miller get the bucket to go. Diamond Miller has every single skill set someone needs to go to the next. Sellers goes all the way, will not finish. They had a two-on-one opportunity. Miller drains the three. Maryland today, seven for nine from beyond the arc. Offensive rebounds, but second chance opportunities are complete in other. Moving her way around the baseline. Cardano Hillary has that swatted by Reese. Sellers wants Berger to go left. Oh, Miller with the rejection. This is really good defense. Help side is there on top. Towards the back of your screen, guarding Wolf, but here is the grad student, Jada Dapa. Now it goes inside and a block for Diamond Miller. Okay there, Josh. Looking very okay there. Comes in from behind and goes straight up and just swats it away. Pins on again. Miller for three. And Diamond Miller starts the proceedings with a three. Right there you see Diamond Miller hitting that big three. But going back to Masonis for a second, she had a really strong start against Fordham. And she's going to be important starting today for the Terps. Briggs, Diamond Miller has two threes. And Davidson, down three again. Taking advantage of some aggressive defense. Right here, you're seeing that big three from Diamond Miller, though. She's hitting those, and again, like we mentioned, Diamond's gonna be a big factor from three-point range. Sellers being defended by two people, finds the open one down low. Faith Masonis puts it in, two points off the glass. Because it was such a high arcing <laughs> shot. Waltman, Johnny on the spot with the finish. There is Diamond Miller, and that is her first bucket of the night. 90 points in a Big Ten opening loss to Nebraska as Miller turns the corner and a chance at a three-point play. It is so tough to guard as she just uses that. Myers drives, got in trouble up in the air. Alexander Miller, open look. Massive shot by Diamond Miller, left open, which for most of today would have been okay for a Connecticut defense, but makes the big one when it matters most. Miller. Miller, nice move, and gets to the rack. Diamond Miller. In a way that we've seen her hit a couple of times this season, and there's that 
Euro step between the legs to a scoop layup. Diamond Miller goes behind the back, swoops through, a ridiculous finish plus the foul. Off the glass gets her family up on their feet once again. Diamond Miller doing Diamond Miller. Off to Sellers. Maryland has not really had much of the ball so far. Quick turnovers and Michigan State taking their time on offense. This is Miller. Nice move inside and she gets it to go. So they're going to have to inbound it and put up a shot. This is Miller putting it up and in! Diamond Miller with a big shot! Getting that one to fall. Miller. <laughs> with Chloe Moore McNeil counted in the foul. She is so long and lanky, little hezzy. Getting the defense off balance. And Rutgers survives somehow as they take it the other way. Miller with an interception. She will take it in and lay it in. And she's got a smile on her face. She can't believe she missed that. But Miller gets it right back. Miller with Cook with her. Putting it up and in is Gia Cook. So 10-6 still the score here in the first. Good feet down low, knocked down in the bucket by Abby Myers. Here is a look at Diamond Miller last time down the floor as she drives and finds the open shooter. And that's in transition. She's also super quick. Kaiser Brown to the deck. Maryland in transition. Miller, beautiful footwork to go up and around Kaiser. Mind you, because she's going to take it to the rim and finish. Look at this, the one-two step. Ooh. Beautifully executed. Miller back on the floor. They changed defenders. Nolan with the bump, counted in the foul. And for Maddie Nolan, that is her second foul. Miller has seen probably every defensive scheme that you can think about, but right here, she just gets the contact that she wants from Maddie Nolan. She chests her. Nice rotation by her to build that wall in transition, and that was another key for Maryland. Diamond Miller. Shining bright this evening is Diamond Miller through the legs, back the other way. Oh, defense off balance, splits the wickets and got that one to go. Let's see it again, just bringing it back the other way. Just smooth with those long go-go gadget arms. Great footwork. Sydney a falter on the finish. And that time, Maryland extended in their 1-2-2 two, two pressure. And as you see, Diamond Miller exploding to the basket. She has continued to work on, steps up and knocks down the three with confidence. No, yes! Off the inbounds. Execution out of bounds. Great screen. The best, deepest conference in the country. Pac-12 certainly is right there as well. ACC, SEC a little bit down this year, but still a tough, tough conference. Cheyenne Sellers a season ago averaged almost just under eight points a ball game. This year, offensive explosion. And look at how fast she is. And you see the arms, it's just the, the length and the wingspan is what makes it so deterring to throw the ball inside. Diamond Miller, she's unstoppable. Here comes Diamond. Uh, she drives past everybody. A great pass to Faith Masonis hey, who puts it in. Now has three points. Those were her first of the game. And one for Diamond Miller again. I was not done. I mean, they're too good offensively. They can find the, the, the bucket easily and quickly. But for Maryland, it's keeping up the energy and the execution on the defensive end. And that's a good start in the first half. And everyone else stepping up. And here they come again. You see just swarming, packing it in the paint. Not allowing anything easy. They could be on that one seed line on the latest NCAA tracking. First look for Diamond Miller. How does she do it? Implementing their philosophy to this team. When Kyra Cook followed Shauna Green here from Dayton, as well as the entire staff from Dayton. Back to this game, Abby Myers with the jumper. She has eight points, one of many Terps filling up the stat sheet so far. Sonis fronting Monica Sonato. Now it's Briggs as Warnock loses it. Masonis one on one. Miller gets by Martin for the two. Back and forth we go. Pushing pace is Maryland after getting a steal. And, and 
Lisa Bluter a couple of weeks ago said, hey, she's not quite 100%, but you know you're gonna get everything from McKenna Warnock when she's on the court. Diamond Miller.